Okay. So, now that we are set up and in. Alrighty. Let's manage all of this stuff. It's a little bit bright on the sides here. Let's see if we can bring that down just a little bit before we get into it. Come here. Stay. No, you're not going to stay for me, huh? Come here. Maybe you stay. Like this. Like a so. Alright, that's a little better for the lighting. Cool. Now, let's start doing a little recording of what we are working on here. All right. Hello there, and welcome to Flight School. Today I'm going to show you how to tweak the maneuverability, acceleration, and speed of your ship in order to suit your play style. If you haven't already, go ahead and give a like and a subscribe if you appreciate the content being made here so that you can be aware anytime I upload more videos. So. If you are like me, anytime you are in a fleet battle or a dogfight, you have this problem of being able to keep track of all of the enemy characters and all of the enemies that are flying across the screen at every given time. Sometimes you turn too slowly. Sometimes you turn too quickly. Sometimes you need to get away and you're too slow. Sometimes you move very, very quickly and you don't particularly see the benefit of it. So. What you need to do is spend some time in practice mode, tweaking your engines until you get your ships to function exactly the way you want them to. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you've loaded your game is go into customization. Now, when you are in customization, you will see a number of things. You're probably familiar with this. You can switch back and forth between your Rebel and your Imperial hangers. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in the Imperial hangar. The process is exactly the same regardless of what hangar you are in or what ship you are customizing. But you're going to want to click on the customization of a ship, then select the ship you want to customize. Let's say, for example, you want to customize your TIE Fighter. So, I'm going to come down here to uh, the bottom two options. Your hull and your engine. These are going to be the two majorly tweakable areas where you can control your speed, your acceleration, and your maneuverability. Just for sake of argument, let's go over what these do really quickly. Maximum speed is the maximum speed at which your ship can travel. Acceleration is the rate at which you change from one speed to another. So any of you who are familiar with this game know that you're going to spend probably 98% of the time in the game somewhere between 100% full throttle and 50% throttle. 100% being the fastest you can go and 50% being where your ship is the most maneuverable. Max acceleration is your ability to switch between those two states very very quickly or very very slowly. Maneuverability is your ability to swing your ship around. If you want to make tighter turns or tighter U-turns, you're going to want to increase your maneuverability a lot. If your ship is whipping around too quickly and you can't keep track of it, then you're actually going to want to turn your maneuverability down. Now, there's no right or wrong answer for any of these. It's all based on your play style, but it's important that we see how to actually affect each thing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come in here to my TIE Fighter and change everything back design. to the standard components. And I mean everything. Just the default that they give you for basically everything. Uh, repair system, right ion missile, that's all fine. Standard laser cannon, that is all fine. Cool? Great. Now that we're here, we're going to want to go back out to the main menu for accessibility options. and go into multiplayer and training once in multiplayer and training go into practice 
switch to your galactic empire if that's what you happen to be doing right now select your difficulty put it probably on veteran i would say the enemy players are a little bit better than average so if you're doing this on the lowest difficulty setting story mode or pilot you're probably not going to get a very good comparison of what it's like to pilot your ship so we'll go into veteran status and we'll hit start practice this will kick you out after the loading screen somewhere in outer space. Bup, ba -dup, ba -dup, ba -dup, ba -dup, ba -dup. We're going to outer space. Hey! Space to space to space! All right. Looking for something more personal? So here we are in our ship selection. You can see that once you are in the multiplayer practice mode, you can actually edit your ship again before you launch if you really want to. We have already done this, so we don't need to edit our loadout. Everything is standard. I'm just going to hit B for launch and practice. Kicking us out into outer space with my rust buckety ship. All right, so we are trying to figure out where the sweet spot is for the maneuverability of our ship. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is put all of my power to the engines. Once I'm there, it is going to increase the maneuverability of the ship and its max speed addition to, in addition to the charge rate of my boost. The second thing I need to do is have some way to test the maneuverability of the ship. There's two ways that we can do this. One is by setting up an obstacle course, and two is by fighting against other simulated pilots. So the first thing we're going to do is come into our menu and start a timed obstacle course. Once we've started the course, we just need to flip ourselves around so that we can start that course, run through it, and see how we do. See if the ship is too maneuverable or not maneuverable enough. Now, the obstacle course is pretty much always exactly the same, so if you've done it once, you've done it a million times. We go through part number one. We're going through piece number two. So far, so good. Now, we're getting a little bit closer here. Oh, let's slow down. Whoa, gain a little bit of maneuverability. All right, we were a little bit loose there. This is actually the tightest turn in the game. So, whoop. All right, so I am flinging the ship around more than I actually want to. Where is I? Where am I going? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's come out and flip back around to get through that obstacle course. Uh, they are telling me that they want me to go through it from this angle. That is fine and exactly what we shall do. So fly through it from this angle. Got it. Coming into the next one. Got it. Coming into the next one. Cool. Woo! Now you can tell that my ship, the controls on my ship feel a little loose. This is actually a little bit too maneuverable for me. The acceleration, the maximum speed, I'm okay with at the moment, but I definitely want to turn the maneuverability down just a little bit because I overcorrect a bit too much. So how do we turn the maneuverability down? Well. Once your timed obstacle course is done, we're going to go back into the hangar really quickly and see about changing it up for something that is slightly less maneuverable. Let's go ahead and rip through here real fast just to get to the end. Oh my goodness, apparently we did not get credit for that one. I was totally in it though, come on. I'm using my boost and my U-turns here just to spin around and get back on track as fast as I can. Now, if you decrease your maneuverability, it will also, as it turns out, decrease your ability to make hairpin turns. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's go back to the Imperial hangar here. We know that we were a little bit too maneuverable to keep up with stuff. So. We're going to go in here, customize the ship. Looking We're going to edit its more. loadout. Now I'm going to come in here and look at my options, my hull options. I've got 
any of them that decrease maneuverability. Here, we gain maximum health, but we lose acceleration and maneuverability. Uh, here, we gain maneuverability. That's definitely not the one we want. All right. Let's look at our engines. We have here we gain maneuverability, not what we want. Uh, here we lose a little bit of maneuverability and gain acceleration. This could be the sweet spot. Here we lose a lot of maneuverability and acceleration, gain max speed. And here we... Uh, nothing having to do with maneuverability. Great. So, let's go ahead with this one. Let's lower the maneuverability by just 10% and see what it looks like. So now my maneuverability value is at 72. My acceleration is much, much faster. This means that the changes between my highest, middle, and lowest speeds are going to be that much greater. So let's go back out here to out of space and see what we got going on. Yeah? Yeah. All right. We've decreased our maneuverability by just 10%. Let's see how we like it by doing another obstacle course. Switch to our maximum maneuverability mode. And we're going to flip around here. And we're going to come in and start the obstacle course. It's still f it's still whipping around a bit for me. Watch it learn. But let's see if this just 10% difference makes enough difference. Okay, this is looking all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's come out here. Get us a little hairpin turn. And we'll come right back through, gain credit for this guy. Get some credit for this guy. All right, now we got to go up and down skis. Okay. All right, controls are still a little loose for me. Oh, no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, so I can already tell that the controls are still a little bit loose for me. I'm going to need to decrease the maneuverability just a little bit more here, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So, we're going to come back in and revert our engine to average. Now, we know that before, this we dropped down to 72. Still wasn't quite what we were looking for. So, let's go back in. And this time, let's try changing to... Hmm. Lose 25% maneuverability and lose acceleration. Okay. And that's going to bring us down to 60% maneuverability. We also lose acceleration, but we gain hull speed. This means we're not going to be able to change between speeds quite as quickly. So if you are making a mistake, it's going to be a little bit harder to correct for. But hopefully by decreasing our maneuverability, it will actually decrease the amount of mistakes that we make. See where I'm going with this? So let's check that out and see how it works. All right. Let's go ahead and recycle to the same thing we we're doing before. Another obstacle course to put in here. Now this hairpin turn and we are down. Time for the obstacle course. Now let's see what we think with this lowered maneuverability. Okay. All right, definitely whipping around a little bit less. That's good for me so far. Put it on the most maneuverable setting. I can definitely tell that my acceleration is slower. And I can definitely feel that I am not turning quite as quickly. However, we'll notice that so far, I have made fewer mistakes and had less to overcorrect for as we go through the obstacle course. Whoa! I spoke too soon. Okay. Going along all right right now. Great. Not whipping around quite so much. This is good news. This is good news. Great. We haven't used any of our boost yet. The boost really does limit your ability to control yourself. So if you're testing for maneuverability... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. If you're testing for maneuverability, then using your boost is going to kind of defeat the purpose, right? All right. Reach... 
Now you'll notice I'm also doing this entire thing at full throttle, which is one of the less maneuverable positions for your engine to be in. But we're doing pretty well. We didn't overshoot anything this time. Is this the last one? That's done. Great. We didn't overshoot anything this time, though we did manage to actually crash into some debris. Fine. Now the next thing we want to make sure to test against is an enemy squadron, because left to your own devices, it's actually pretty easy to avoid obstacles in the way. But you also need to be able to track enemies, follow them, and defeat them all, right? So let's go ahead and deploy an enemy squadron. Now, in this case, because we're testing maneuverability, I want to test this against the most maneuverable of the enemy ships, which is going to be A-wings on the rebel side. So X-wings and Y-wings, X-wings and A-wings with U-wing support. This is the only version that has A-wings and it actually has three of the different rebel ships. So it will be a good test. Now make sure here that you're targeting something appropriate to make sure that when you're cycling through attackers that they're the ones coming up. In this case, I'm just gonna go with all enemies and see what comes up here. All right, so we are still in Woo! All right, so now we can flip around and see about tracking down this enemy starfighter first. I am first now tracking an X-Wing. I don't seem to have any problems following him, but I am also being tracked by an enemy. We're going to switch and target our attacker instead. This is a very important thing to be able to learn to do because you're going to be attacked all the time. All right, so we get around. We are maneuverable enough to get around behind our attacker. Good. Now let's come around and see if we can get a shot on him. All right, he flips around. We want to spin around and see if we can keep on him. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, he's within. He's close. He's close. One of the hardest things about this game is actually keeping your enemies on target. They move around a lot. Come on. Well, let's switch over here. We're being followed yet again. Let's make sure that we get this target off of our tail here. And we're going to use all of the natural obstacles and our maneuverability that we've just switched around to see if we can come around and get him in our line of sight. There he is. There he is. Okay, the maneuverability feels okay. Now, ultimately, what you really want is to be able to get behind your target and attack them straight on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Brilliant. All right, one down. That was an A-wing. See if we can keep on this guy, too. Let him fly by. Okay, these guys are... Okay. Oh, not nice. All right, two down. Now, we've got a U-Wing behind us. Bless me. Sorry. All right. Now we need to come back in here and make sure that we can target everybody else. He flies off. Meaning that we can do a quick little Yui. Bring him back into our sights here. Make sure that he's under a thousand meters away. What we really are trying to focus on here is that we can keep the enemies in our crosshairs. 
Oh, out in the open, not a good place to be on your own. You need to catch up, we will do it. Slow down as we get it within range. Okay, so the maneuverability is a bit slow. Now, we are... All right, somebody is attacking us now. We want to make sure that we can get away as quickly as possible. We switch to maneuverability flight mode. Oh man, they are really taking after us here. So we want to go in and around all of the obstacles to try to lose our attacker. And then switch around to our guns as we come back in for the kill here. They tried to lock on. Alrighty, now. We're just trying to lose everybody in the debris field right now. They are all together back here on the end. Now, if we can come at them with a straight shot, it's easier to keep the enemy in our sights. So let's see if we can. Come on. All right, he's down. All right, this feels pretty good, right? But now we need to go and test it out against some real actual players. Stay nice and nimble. While we turn around and prepare for... Where is he? Where is he? Okay, now everybody's being supported. This is called jousting, where you go back and forth. All right, he's down. My barrel rolls are pretty slow at this maneuverability level. That's all right, it's not terrible. We have, oh, this guy's almost gone. Switch to our guns as we come right back in on this guy. significantly difference in your speed when you're using your full maneuverability mode. Okay, who else we got? Woo! Let's come back in for the joust. And this time it looks like he's just spiriting away. So this is the hard part. When the enemy is going across your screen. All right, we managed to get through some of the shields. Great. I think in this case, we have the U-Wing consistently healing him up. That's no good. Hello! Alright, we are on defense, so let's play some defense and see how our maneuverability functions.
Yes? No? There it is. Alright. Now, let's see if we can come through here and defeat this U-Wing. Brilliant! Oh, and such an exciting, such an exciting one, too. All that's left is the enemy X-Wing. Switch the engines, get more maneuverability. All right, a little bit low on the maneuverability there. And you see what happens. So we'll switch over to our guns. And they're all down. Let's go ahead and give a shot against some real players, why don't we? A. Press spacebar for accessibility options. Press the K key for accessibility options. Okay. First, I want to come in here, make sure that I have all of the settings right. Um, actually, Press spacebar no. Press for accessibility options. All right, so we're back to the main screen here. Multiplayer and training. We are going to take our TIE Fighter, Galactic Battle, Galactic Empire, start match making. Who knows how long this could take. Anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. Let's see how we do against real people. Now, while this is searching for a team, I'm not going to say much because honestly, I'll just cut this part out of the video that is to come. Hey! Dogfight. Yavin. Okay, we are in with our customized ship. Let's remember we're using a standard laser weapon on the front. In fact, let's just go ahead and look at all of our options here. We're using the standard weapon on the front. Uh, do, 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 do. The burst cannon actually will do more damage, but if your aim is not very good, then it's <laughs> kind of hard to use effectively. Um, plus it has lower ammo, and I tend to go through a lot of ammo. So we're going to stick with the standard weapon. Left is going to stay as repair. Right, the ion missile. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep that, actually. Seeker warheads, those are fine. Um, you know what? I think I actually might do chaff particles instead. Nah, we keep with the warheads. That's fine. All right, the hull is the reinforced hull, which will give us more health, but lower acceleration and lower maneuverability. This will enable us to do more jousting with the enemy team. Let's see how it works. All right. Now, there is an advanced technique called shunting that I did not get to earlier in the video where we're talking about maneuverability. It is something the Imperials without shields can do to actually force extra power from one system into another. So, for example, if you are on full weapons and you drain your weapons, you can shunt power from your engines to your weapons to immediately refill them and vice versa. Okay, let's see what we got here. Titanfall, enter ready. 
So, we want to start in maximum maneuverability mode. This guy is out here by himself. Come on. Let's not embarrass ourselves. Whoa, hey -oh. We always want to be able to target our attacker. Alright, let's see if we can hurry up and get to this repair. Now, are you going to come at me again? It's not very smart. Alright, kill number one, down. Great, now this guy coming into our sights here. Ooh, a little outside our range. Come on, man. Get him, get him, get him. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. Relax, relax. We're getting back into it. What is happening? Hard to tell, actually. Oof. Come on. Get back in there. And he's gone. Who do we have next? Let's switch. That was close. Now, who is attacking us? Hey -o. Incoming missiles. Let's oof. Alright, we are on the defensive here, fools. We knew it had to happen at some point. I could not find any of the heals or resupplies, but we're doing okay. Oh my goodness, they are... Let's see, is it only me is definitely killing us. They are all together. That is a very advantageous position for them to be in. So, let's target the one who's out here by himself. Taken out half our fighters? Unacceptable. Change these statistics before we lose. Alright, missile locking. That puts us on the defensive again already. Wow. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Alright, come on. Woo! Ah! Guzage! Taking me down! Not so great. Three and two. But we're doing okay here. It's not actually that bad. Ready to do this. Uh, biggest problem that we have is actually that our team is mostly dead. Incoming missile. Off. 
That was a very stupid move. Strong, independent Nappa. Okay. Three and three. Wow, I started out very strong, and now we are just getting whooped. Just incredibly yeah, whooped. In Stay with him. Great. Who's targeting me now? Okay. Missile locking. Who's on me? I think I actually crashed into that guy. Now, not gonna lie to you, without having obstacles to go in and around and through actually makes it a lot harder. That is for damn sure. Headed your way. Oof, we are terribly outnumbered here. That means that we are going to have to stay on the defensive. All right, well, it was a major loss for our team, but the maneuverability of our ship looked pretty good. I was actually able to maintain my live status for pretty long, especially when people were uh, tailing me. So that is something that I'll be particularly happy about. Look at this. I got the Dodger feet. 21 missiles evaded. That's pretty good. So the maneuverability of our ship seemed to be all right. I was able to keep people in my sights for the most part, even though my accuracy is a bit off, let's be honest. But hey pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. What's going on, new viewer? Press the K key for accessibility options. Okay, now... What ships am I actually using, though, for the most part? I know I like using... Let's see, maneuverability is always an issue for me anyway. So here we go. This one's maneuverability is around 60. Now, uh, bombers and their loadout. I need to do a lot of health. I am not super concerned about the acceleration or maneuverability of these ships. That means... Oh, okay. Shields. Shields, shields, shields. They have more shields than they have health, which means that if I increase by 30%, I'll gain... I'm not sure if I want to spend to unlock that, so we'll keep that the way it is for the time being. Uh, ion bombs and proton bombs, because I'm doing crazy bombing runs. I like to get under the shields, though, so I'm not sure the ion bombs are really what I'm looking for. So let's go for the multi-lock missiles, maybe? Um, hmm. Seeker mines, never a bad idea. You know what? All right, we'll just keep the ion bomb. The hull, great. Shields. Standard shields for the time being, that's fine. Engine. I need the engine that makes me go the fastest, which is going to be this guy here. So, max speed on this ship. 
is 121. Shields are a little low. My hull has gained. Is that all the max speed that I can get? Uh, looks like it. All right, well, if that's all the max speed I can get, then that's what we're going to keep there. Now let's check out our X-Wing here. Let's go with... All right, I can keep that. The right ion missile. I do like the ion missile. I like being able to knock other people out from time to time. So... Let's see. Howdy, all. Yeah, the multi-stream feature on my streaming software is not working the way it's supposed to. All right. But anyway, let's see. Proton torpedoes. This is would be if I'm still using my X-Wing. Ion torpedoes. If I'm still using my X-Wing when we get to capital ships. It's not a bad idea. Let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So I'll dogfight with lasers and then use ion torpedoes on the right side. Now, I've got my maneuverability in the sweet spot where I want. Increase max speed. Cool. So those will be the two ships that I use on the rebel side. Now, what about the imperial side? I'll use the TIE fighter and the TIE bomber comparatively. So let's see. TIE Bomber. Increase max speed. Good Great. Choice. And then the hull. Increase health. I don't need to be maneuverable with this. I just want to smash in in the first person. So look at that. Max hull. 3,500. Woo! Maneuverability is abysmal. And so is acceleration. But... All right, that's what we have to go on. Great. I'll get right on it. I know I still have some points here that I can use to unlock some stuff. Just not really sure what I want to unlock yet. All right, let's get into some fleet battles, bruh. Fleet battle, yeah! Wow, that was high. Um... Usually when the time thing goes away, there we go. It means that we're in. We're in. <laughs> we're doing the Nadiri dockyards. Ah, I like the dockyards. Three basic lanes of travel, unless you want to go all the way around the outside, which you can do. It's a little dangerous. Now, things we want to watch out for. Let's see, we're starting off we're going to start off with our TIE fighter. Let's switch to the ion torpedoes. Why? I don't know. It'll allow us to do some more damage against capital ships should we be in the vicin. Uh, onslaught rockets, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's go with this. See how it works. Countermeasures, the seeker warheads, that's fine. Fires multiple projectiles that intercept missiles. That breaks locks and stop missiles and mines. I think I need to get better with these chaff particles. So let's go ahead and do some chaffy chaff chaff. See if that's good. Ion torpedo is fine. Uh, do I want to change what it looks like? Hmm. I mean, that one's pretty cool. But that one's also just so cool. The red one is pretty cool. I like the yellow one. Blue one doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think I should do? Maybe later. What? Oh, no. Someone I'm playing with. That one... Most of these are so subtle. I, I, I need them to be like more exciting. You know? But I like the yellow stripe. Yellow stripe is pretty cool. Blue one doesn't really do it for me. I think it would blend in with all the stuff in outer space. That's kind of neat. The gargoyle. All right. Well, we only have 12 seconds. Ah! 
I can do it too. Oh. Highway to the danger zone. Alright. So let's see if we got a good loadout on our shippy ship ships here. What was my shunting command again? C? I think it was C. Where are we going? Uh, what are you doing? Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play, huh? Come on. Some reapers that people have invested in. Good. Now, let's see. If I... Is it this? Yeah. That's my shunt to the front. Now, let's make sure that we're targeting primarily the enemy squadron, but we'll really take anyone. Powering up our weapons. I want that gone. All right, well, that's one down. That's two down. You're doing well, Titan. Continue. And coming from nowhere, that's what we are. Switch to our guns for this guy. Alright. Somebody is attacking us. And I'm not sure who it is, which means anytime we don't know who it is, it means we're getting out of here. They are? Why? Okay. I do see it. this guy. Hello. Wow. Wafty Minge. Oh, I did not do a very good job of avoiding anything on that one. And the chaff particles not Let's sure that I used those very well. I mean that. Okay, light cruiser. Come on, where's my lock? Where's my torpedo lock? Oh, right, because that's... All right, Corvette destroyed. Great. That Corvette is nothing but scrap now. So. All right, Psyops. I see you.
Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Who's going to be closest? We'll fight the same target as our raider. Why can I not deploy? Aww. Let's get on out of here. We need to grab another proton torpedo. Come on, come on. Where's my repair? Okay. Thank you. Give me my give me my torpedo, fool. There we go. Why would you do that? Not allow the rebels to destroy our cruisers. Push back. We are about to get blown up. Let's get out of here. Great. Redeploy. Now I'm angry. I seem to have lost whatever my chaff button was. Come on, get in there, get in there. Nice. Got a lead. Hello. Oh. Need 
I need my proton torpedoes. There we go. Oh no, I didn't get it. Over here, where? Why am I missing? Dumb fire left. Deploy countermeasures. Deploy countermeasures. Why is this all that I have for deploy countermeasures? Um, all right. Well. All right. Let's go ahead and get a little run in here. Goodness gracious. Okay. So it looks like I need to reconfigure my controls because my countermeasures don't seem to be on any useful button. All right. Let's see if we can come in here. What's up, Brett Macias? Flagship systems. Now. Come on. Wow, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get there. Whoa. That was a mistake. All right. Rebel scout. Just brace me. Ah, psyops got us right before we were able to get there to de drop our to deploy the missiles. Oh my goodness, I changed all of my controls and now I don't remember what any of them are. Controls! Woo! Uh, cycling targets. Cycle targets. Cycle targets. R cycles targets. C, focus shields. Okay. We are in defense mode, which means target the enemies. Oh, this guy's coming around right here. Hello, Psyops. Goodbye, Psyops. Goodbye, Psyops. Now, who else is coming? This guy. Nighty night. Where are we at? Good night. Is anyone even targeting me at all? I don't think so. just getting a whole bunch of AI kills. Where are the actual players? 
There's one. Alright. Chris Kalel. Night night. <laughs> What's up, Angry Birds? How you doing too? I need to switch to the bomber. Where is there we go. The hangar. Okay. Now, time to turn things around. Uh, flagship subsystems, great. Now let's shunt all the power into the engines so that I can get in there. Hopefully, this time to actually drop some missiles. Good. Ah, uh, no. Hello, nurse. Woo! They got a lock on me. The enemy has restored their shield generators. Ah, uh, boo! Thank you, Brett. I'm on a nice little green screen now. How much time do I have? Oh, okay. I might still be able to do this. Their left shield generator, that's the one that I went after before. Should be able, if I can get there in time. Shunt that power. Ah, boo. That means that we need to go hop back into a TIE Fighter. Because we are on defense, fools. <laughs> I'm the fanciest. How's your foot, man? How you doing? All right. Who is targeting me and why? You have more important things to do. Minge! All right, Minge, you're gone, sir. Now, who is attacking me and why is the big question. They disabled the shields on our Star Destroyer. I know, they do that a lot. Come on. Missile lock. Okay, good. Defense is going all right. Come on, get him out. Good. Back to our bomber. Man, they are hammering away at us. This is a very important run. To the best of our ability, we gotta make sure that we are doing it right. Back in the Follow place. flagship systems. Nope, one. Shunt the power. Okay, targeting system. Missile locking, really? Enemy shields have been disabled. We've done all we can. Find someone else to attack. Oh man, we gotta try to get out of this. Destroyed. Blast. Come on! Good. 
Now, which points do they have left? Still healing? Sucks not to walk. Woo! Yeah, I can imagine that's true. Uh, Alright, looks like we are about to go on defense. So let's get ready for this. Have you n really not walked at all? Like, anywhere? I suppose not, huh? Okay. Good night, AI. Don't stop me now. I'm killing all the rebels. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. We're have killing all the rebels. Where is Alright, we need to be Yeah, we need to be very much more in here. Our Star Destroyer is taking heavy fire. Protect it at all costs. We've destroyed enough fighters. They're falling back. They sure are. Now, oof, this could be, this could be our last attempt here. Here I come. I killed the cyber demon, Tio. I have no idea what that means, not gonna lie. Ah, no targets available in the cyber systems for the ship. And we win! Nice, imps. Nice. Been only scootering between my bed and the couch and the potty. Oh, Brett. I'm so sorry, bro. But I'll come keep you company tomorrow. What time? What time? Uh, Imperial victory. Wait, what did I get? What was my ranking? Oh my goodness, I was in last place. Look at this score. AI kills by Happy Burger 23. Okay, so. Press the e key to we press definitely the e key need to options. make some modifications. It's not a trap. So, the missile that I was using on my TIE Fighter is not super great Press also what happened to my countermeasure options. controls i'm still pushing like a whole bunch of tra strange buttons for some reason for i need to change these controls options. remap things please in flight uh the mouse recenter i don't need that's fine pitch up and down that's fine just to use the mouse roll throttle increase boost yes 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 Fire, great. Fire left auxiliary, yes, I knew that one. Fire the right. Deploy countermeasures. I don't have a button associated with deploying countermeasures. That's dumb. So, we're going to make countermeasures R, because that's what I kept pushing to try to get it. Which means we need to come down to cycle targets and make that the mouse wheel. Great. Then, okay, if I press C, it converts power to the back. If I pre double tap it, it does weapons. If I hold it, it resets. All right, great. Save and exit. That should be helpful. Press now, for accessibility options. I want to come in here and do a little bit more customization because let's switch to the Imperial hangar here all right I want my TIE fighter this ion torpedo not doing it for me ion missile maybe but regular missile probably better proton torpedo assault shield 
for all the jousting that I like to do, but in this case, that's not really the way it works. So, hmm. Ion damage? I think I'm just going to switch back to the standard lock-on missile. The repair system, I like. Countermeasures, I don't really know, because, uh, let's be honest, I wasn't really using them very well. So, let's stick with that, with the TIE Fighter. TIE Bomber was just fine as well. He was having the same problem as before. Let's go back to the Republic Hangar and make sure that I have all of my ships sort of maximized around in here, the ones that I want to use. Left, right, Ion Torpedo, no sir. Let's switch back to the standards. I don't want to change any of the maneuverability stuff because I don't. Now this one, multi-lock missiles can fire missiles at multiple targets simultaneously. Ideal against groups and turrets. Let's try that one. Lock on time, lock on range. I haven't ever tried it, so I don't know how good it might be or not. But we got it now. All right. I'll get it ready. Press spacebar for accessibility options. Let's do one more of these, and then I got to go get a snack, fools. Multiplayer fleet battles. Don't know who they're going to put me as. I still have a couple of customization points in here ready to go. Customization currency can change the color of my ship and all that kind of jazz. But am I going to do it? All right. Okay. We are on offense. Now. Okay, rebels, 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 rebels. Rebels remember shields. And they don't shunt power. They move power of their shields front and back. So, that's what I got to remember. All right, minute and a half. X-Wing fighter loadout Juan. Standard laser cannons, repair droids, concussion missiles. Fire them. One minute to go. One minute to go. Let's see. What else we got? No A-wings on our team. We have two Y-wings, Y-bombers. We have one support gunship, though I don't know what his loadout is. No A-wings. Two TIE fighters. All right. That's not terrible. It's not too bad to start us off. Who are we waiting for? Come on, man. Hit the ready button. Ready, ready. Seventeen sixty for damage here. Ready, eight out of ten now. Some guy stopped being ready? What's that all about? Yes. Okay. Am I going to play Doom Eternal? Tio, you ask me this like every other day. No, I am not planning to play Doom Eternal. <laughs> I love you, man. But you've asked me that question many, many times now. Come on, fleet battles. Now, okay, getting in with the rebels. We want to start by making sure that we have charged our shields all the way. Right? Right. 
because it is the thing that Imperials get for the most part that are sorry that rebels get that the Imperials don't so rebels always charge your shields right at the beginning of battle give you a little bit of edge going into that first head-to-head -head against the enemy team why is Rosemary's baby taking over the alarm system Okay, can we get the W? Oh, this base is fun, but can be very, very challenging to get right. So, let's start by charging the shields. Let's move all of the shield power to the back. Okay, shields charged. Oh, man, get an extra shield like in it. Where are all of the people that I want to destroy? Why are you not targeting? Counter measures. Counter? I hardly know her. Dead zone. See if we can come through this way. Okay, preparing to attack already. Now, where are they sending? The Corvette. This side? No? Neither side? What's going on with that? Alright, well, Imperial ships. We do not want to. Yes, I see that they fired missiles. And I have chaffed your missiles. Okay, well that was pretty lame. Oh, see, look at me, flying in a straight line. Always a bad idea. Press the E key twice for options. Never ever fly in a straight line. All right, they're sending our cruiser guy. Ugh, but it looks like we're on defense now already. Don't worry, I won't. Let's charge those shields. Focus shields in the back. Oh, no wonder I wasn't getting it right. Doofus? There we go. <laughs> yes, I'm prepared to defend, fool. Corvette lost. Corvette lost already? Okay. I see you all the way up here, Demon Man. What are you doing so high up here? They locked down to me. Ah. Oh, nice. Woo! Too close, sir. Go. 
Where are you, person who's targeting me? Come here, you're almost dead. There we go. Who's next? Demon Man? Destroy. Blast that Vanguard. Attack that target. Where'd you go? Nope, flew all the way away. Fine. These things have so much health. Ouch. Ouch again. Man. Just straight crashing into me the whole time. Oh, come on. I've got my chaff particles ready to go. Come here. Where are you? Where are you? Woo! Thomas Cannon? They are all next to their... Yes, I, I know that. That's why I'm falling back. Come on, come on! Get him back. Nice. Come on, he's not dead. He's got 5% health. Jesus. How did he survive that? He had five health left and I shot him 9,000 times. That's ridiculous. Get out of here. Brett? <laughs> yes, maybe for you I'll play Doom Eternal. I like that your character waits until they're in mid-battle to fix their gloves. Seems like a most opportune time. Yeah, well, you know, it's never too early or too late to put on your gloves. It's cold outside. Come here, Palm King. Great. Oh my goodness, they are just rocking our socks. The Empire is targeting our flagship. I am not good at this game. <laughs> Alright. Defend, defend. Need a hand? Get back to the ship. And let's charge our shields. Shields are charged. Now. I see you guys coming out of here. Right. Man, we're still assaulting Let's cruisers. C. C, 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 C. 
Now, we need to fly where we're going to be hard to target, which should be in here. Come here, come here, come here. Let's come out this way. Yes. More bombing runs necessary. Okay, once again, do the same move we just did. Now we gotta get out of dodge. They are way ahead of us right now. Hello, hello, whoa, look out, coming through. Oh no. Boo! Alrighty. Let's charge some shieldy shield shields while we're back. Now, where's bossy boss boss? Alright. That's not really how it's supposed to work. Come on. Got to get this guy down. Oy, oy, oy. That guy is killing me. Oh no, you're mine, fool. Bingo! Taking out a lot of Titan squadron ships. Don't stop now. All right. Push forward. Don't let him go. Kill him. Take out the cruisers, and we can advance on the Star Destroyer. Great. So. Now, we come back into our bombing run position that we had before. If I get one good pass, that should do it. Finish off that cruiser, Vanguard. Ah! That Imperial cruiser is gone for good. They took out that first one, so... We'll go through the base. Okay, Star Destroyer time. Flagship systems. Whoa, hey -o. Shields to full. Come on, come on, turn, 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 turn. Ah, uh, it was too slow, too slow on the turn. 
just hanging there in the air waiting to get slaughterhoused. Can I get a Y bomber all the way there in time? I don't think I I don't know if I can. But we're going to have to try it this way. Ah, boo! Turn around. Every now and then you spin your bomber around. And then you spin your bomber around. Bomb around. Really? Come on, get there, 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 get there. Oh, thank goodness. Bomber, bomber. Oh, no, wait. Whew. Something weird was happening there. Flying to your position. Whoa! That was not what I was trying to do. And as a result, I am getting hosed. Yes, they always do that. Because they're punks. Come on. Alright, nice. Whoa, Star Destroyer already? That was very, very fast. Kudos to us. Okay, now, let's get in that Y bomber and see if we can go hit those shield generators. Subsystems. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did I get it, though? Ugh! The shield generator! Wait, wasn't I targeting the left shield generator? Did I really do that badly? Wow, did I miss completely with all of my missiles? Jeez. All right, I think this is probably going to be the run where they clench it. Enemy squadron. This boss nass, dude. Wanted Bob! Why are you killing me instead of the ship, dude? Ah, oh, but that's it. Man, I really need to work on assaulting an Imperial Star Destroyer. That, that is what I really need to do. Scoreboard. Well, I wasn't the last. I had more kills than deaths. A little bit of capital ship damage. Look at this. Scotty Skywalker. Whoa, look at Boss Nass. 25 kills, 8 deaths. Oof, the Imperials have such an advantage in this game. It's crazy.
that whole damage, man, mitigating shields and whatnot, I have a feeling that the rebels, if you get good enough, are super powerful, but... That will be a story for another time. For now, I'm logging off because I'm hungry and I need to go get me a snack.